Good morning. Do you remember that I live in a Land Rover Defender? Well, just in case you forget that, or I forget that, we've broke down again today. Well, we actually broke down last night, but I was reluctant to call breakdown cover at fucking 10 o'clock at night, because I know that they take four hours to arrive. So I've just called them now. It's minus one outside. It is probably the worst day I've seen, as far as cold and mist and ice and all that. So I've put the fire on, which is something I don't normally do in the morning. Hey, hey are on their way out. What's happened is the fan belt snapped again, which is what happened last time it overheated, but this time it didn't overheat because I knew what was going to happen. So I pulled over and pulled over to a safe place, checked the gauge, everything. So it's fine, it just needs that belt sorting. Everything's running free. The alternator's running free, which is bizarre. The fan thing is running free. I reckon I'm going to take that viscous fan completely off now. I did put an electric fan on, but it didn't make a difference to the temperature gauge. It didn't like bring it down at all. So I reckon I'm going to take the viscous fan off completely be just easy without it and then wire that fan back up i'm gonna do that so then it would be easier for me to change the belt on my own if it snapped again i'm not sure why it's snapping it's getting stuck somewhere and, and burning out and then that's it but anyway i only drove for a, a mile yesterday and it did it it could be that the alternate is under a lot of a lot of stress because bear in mind it's got to power this leisure battery and everything and it's an old old motor it's only a 70 amp alternator it's got a lot of work to do. Anyway, that's fine. Don't worry. The breakdown cover on the way out. I'm hoping that the AA can fix it rather than tow me anywhere. Because towing me somewhere is kind of counterproductive, really. Uh, I'd rather not be towed somewhere. Just by coincidence, I nearly sold my Fiesta yesterday. Pretty sure it's sold. And then I think it fucking jinxed my Land Rover. Anyway, let's not get into a bad mood. Look at these t-shirts. They're new. Look. Look at that. Full colour digital printed. Brand new, I only got them yesterday. If you want one, I'm going to list them on somewhere. I'm going to list them on somewhere. I'm trying to set up a separate website that's not Liam the Terrible. It's a separate, it's going to be outdoor wear. It's out. You can track. You can track where the driver is. Aiming to be with me by 10.35, it's now 9.47. What do you reckon the chances of them being here at 10.35? I think slim to nil. Listen, while I've got your attention, I did that thing that I talked about in my other video where I set up the app for these um, aux beam switch panel. So I can now turn all my cameras and lights on through this app. So while I'm in bed, if I hear a noise outside, I can do it. But also kitchen lights. Are you ready? ba ba da ba da all through the Bluetooth. Ba 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 da. Oh, I'm not very good at doing it while I'm on camera. And then turn the kitchen lights off and then the house lights. Ma ma na ma na. It's the one and only deal double G. Snoop Dogg. How good is that? That were a tasty little upgrade I did yesterday while I were faffing around with some stuff underneath my, my battery system. So there is the offending belt, as you can see, it's very shredded. The AA have just called me to say that they're about 5-10 minutes away, which is weird because normally they're 2 hours late, not early. But it sounds like a good lad, so hopefully he's going to fix it rather than tow me anywhere. I don't want to be towed anywhere, I just want to fix it. It's just a fan belt, they can do that, they've got tools, come on. Hey, hey, do me proud. Well, that was unexpected. It's 10.21, so that he's not meant to arrive for another 14 minutes. He's already been and gone. But he's not fixed it yet. He's gone to Europarts to pick up a fan belt. Dan, the parts man at Europarts, man didn't have the right part, but we found it somewhere else at another Europarts. It was so funny when the guy phoned Europarts up well, so uh, on loudspeaker, and it was my friend Dan that answered. It was quite funny. Anyway, you just had to be there and appreciate how funny it was. It's going to go get the part now. It's going to come back and go put it on. This guy's a legend, actually. Nice bloke. It's amazing how different it is from last time I broke down, where they couldn't be fucking arsed with doing it. They took four hours to arrive. This one's arrived within probably just over an hour, and it's proper sound, like proper. He's a Barnsley lad as well, which is bizarre proper Barnsley lad ready to get his hands stuck in fixed 
I'm probably counting my chickens. He's not back yet, he's not fixed it yet, but I'm hopeful. So the other week, uh, I was reversing out of a parking spot and uh, there was an overhanging gutter that I didn't see. And I crashed into it and the gutter ended up inside my van through the window, you know the toilet window? The toilet window went through, smashed into smithereens. Anyway, I fixed it. With genuine Mercedes parts. <laughs> that is the window cut out from a Mercedes Sprinter. So my Land Rover has been now held together with German engineering. But it's solid as a rock. One less window to break, and you know my track record with breaking windows. There's just weirdly been a man looking under my bonnet. I don't... I don't know him. Maybe he's going to fix it for me. I said, maybe he knows like Esther Ranson has got a heart of gold. And he's going to fix it for me. He's wearing a Scottish mask. A Scottish flag mask. I don't know where he's gone. Let's see if we can see him. Oh, he's gone. He's gone all the way over there. He's wandered off into the mist. Maybe he wasn't a real person. Maybe he was like a guardian angel. Guess who's back? Back again. AA's back. Tell a friend. So this is the offending article, so you can see it's shredded there, but also that's the worst bit. Ugh, so annoying. It's 11 quid. 11 quid for that. I'm going to carry like 10 of them spare. Ugh, Land Rover life. It turns out weird Scottish mask man weren't actually that weird. Well, not weird compared to weirdos. He's just come over and uh, had a nice chat with me and had a look around the van. I think he's a bit of a truck enthusiast. Uh, I did tell him about my channel and I did tell him also that uh, I've, I've talked about him. <laughs> anyway, I love the interactions I get from people when they see a Land Rover like this, an unusual vehicle. I love it, especially older people, like older, older, older men. I can I sometimes see like their missus trying to pull them away. Come on, let's go. We've got. Oh, I'm just having a look at this. Oh, I'm just I look at that. I love it. Love it to bits. Right. So, Mr. AA man, Ian, what a legend. Like I said before, Barnsley lad. I've never met a bad person from Barnsley. For some reason, Barnsley people are just fucking proper sound. Anyway. He sorted it, new belt on. We couldn't get the right size belt, so we've put a shorter belt on, which might be all right. It's on and it's working fine. It's tensioned up and that, but I am going to go to Halfords now and buy a spare belt because just in case it happens again, 10 mil spanner, 30 mil spanner, bosh, it's off. I just didn't have any of that stuff and didn't have a belt. If that happens again, it might not happen again, but it might happen again. I'm just going to carry a Land Rover spares department around with me and it'll all be good. Oh, seems to have got spilt coffee everywhere in my van. It's good to know, isn't it? <sighs> right, so I might be able to relax now. I was up all night thinking about this, stressing about it, but we are on 11.37. Sorry, I didn't ask you. 11.37. I called the AA at like fucking half past nine. I can't, can't fault that. What a contrast. Anyway, like and subscribe. I love you all. See you soon. Bye, Felicia.